Hello, I think this class I'm going to tell you how to design the binocular by using the generative shape design. Okay. This one is the reading that is isometric view of the binocular. Okay. Then here the dimensions you will get. Okay. This one is the top view and uh, the front view and the side view. Okay. First what I will do, I will start with this front view. Okay. Once with the outer sketch I will design. I have two circles and two arcs. Okay, arc circle radius is 65, and one arc radius is 65, and the other is 300. First, I will sketch this one. But after sketching this one, then I will project this sketch on the plane. Okay, first, I will, this is the sketch position of this one. After creating that one, then I will project this sketch on the plane at a distance of uh, 150 millimeter and that sketch should be offset by 10 mm okay on the second plane then one more plane i will create at a distance of 200 mm from this plane okay then again i will project the sketch on this plane to this plane okay? then again i i will offset it by 10 mm if you get you can see you see here why i am creating and why i am offsetting this one is tapering is it like that Right. That's why we have to reduce uh, the what is that uh, we have to offset the sketches by 10 mm on this plane and again 10 mm on this plane. Okay, first I will create three sketches one on this plane and the second at a distance of 150 millimeter and the third at a distance of 200 millimeter from this plane. Okay, then we will start with uh, designing. First one, first I will go to start shape, then generative shape design. Okay, here we can name it. That one is the binocular. And then click on OK. Then I will select the YZ plane. I will go to sketch. Okay. Just I will select the circle. Okay, double click on it. It will be activated. Uh, you can draw many times circle you just I will draw a circle at the right side of this vertical axis and to the left side of this vertical axis later I will go to constraint I will give the dimension for this one the diameter is 130 and here also the diameter is 1 And after that, I have to maintain the relation. That means in these two centers, I will give the symmetry, a low symmetry line about y axis. Okay. After that, I will give the center distance between this circle to this circle. Okay. This is total. Okay. Then after this, I will go to arc, okay. three point arc starting with three hits. Double click here. Select this one and uh, this circle. Okay, you have to maintain the tangency. That one you can do it later also. Just draw a circle like this. Okay, and select this circle and this circle also. And just draw arc. Then after this, just double click on constraint. Select this arc and this circle. You should maintain the tangency between these two. And this circle and uh, this arc here also can. Then again, similarly here also. Okay. After maintaining the tangency, then give the dimension for this arc that is having the radius of 65, and uh, this is having the radius of. Uh, and it is just I will check it. And that is having the radius 300. Okay, you can refer the sketch. Okay. After this, just I will uh, trim these two sides. You just double click here, quick trim is there. Double click, just select this one and this one. Okay. That will be trimmed out. Okay. Then exit the workbench. Then exit workbench is there. Just click on it. 
after this i will project this sketch okay i will project this sketch on a plane what uh, which i am going to create now okay i just i will create a plane from the offset from plane which plane that one i will select as y z plane okay and in the reverse direction the distance i will give is 1 to okay you can refer that sketch okay for the distance of a plane then again, I will select select this set a plane, and I will do this sketch. Okay, after selecting that uh, plane, just I will select the whole sketch. Just drag this; it will be selected. After that, just I will click on Project 3D Elements. Just click on this. Okay. After that, will be projected on that plane. After selecting that, just click on this offset. Okay. Otherwise, first you select, just select the sketch, then click on offset. Okay, offset distance that is given. Okay, just here in the bottom line, you can see it. Okay, what is the offset distance? I will give it as that one is 10. Okay, after offsetting this, just I will select the outer sketch. Okay, and I will uh, make it as a construction element. And after that, just exit the work again. Now two sketches we created. Again, we have to create one more plane at a distance of 200 mm from this plane, that is second plane, okay, and in the reverse direction. And we found then again i will select the plane newly created plane then again go to sketch okay now select the second sketch that is inner sketch okay and uh, hold control and select all the uh, circles and arrows now it is completely selected again i will click on the project 3d elements okay and now it is uh, activated then again i will click on offset just move inside and uh, give press the tab button when it comes to offset then give the value as 10. after this you select this yellow sketch okay that one you should convert it into the construction element okay then again exit the work okay now three sketches we created okay one on the first plane then at a distance of 150 and at a distance of 200 okay this sketch is offset by 10 mm from the original sketch again this sketch is offset by the second sketch at 10 mm by the second okay. after creating this just i will go to here you can see multi section sub just click on that we need to select all the sketches select the first sketch and second one and third one okay you can just check here now the closing points are lying in the same line okay if, if it is somewhere here just you can close uh, suppose if it is like this but sometimes it is not lying in the same line then just to right click here or replace and select this point okay now in the same direction and on the same line so then you can click on ok now it is ready okay. but when you see in the top i just i will select the xy plane and i will go to sketch now we are getting this straight line here but when you observe this one in this sketch okay now when you observe the top you okay, it is a curve like on both sides so here also it is like curve here also it is curve of radius 700 and radius 200 okay that one i'm going to want to do that one first i will go to this sketch okay then i will go to Arc by center point. Just I will draw an arc. 
of any dimension later you can do it then again from this side also i will draw one more arc and now i will give the dimensions this one is i don't know how much but this is one is 700 one is 245 this one is 700 and this one is 245 and we have to maintain the tangency between this line and then this arc. Okay, I will select this and I will select this line. I will give the tangent. Similarly, I will select this one and this one, then I will give the tangent. Okay. After that, just exit from the workbench. Now, two sketches I will create. Okay, from these sketches, I will extrude by using the extrude command then just like the extrude command now we are getting this one but it should cross this surface it's on both the sides that's why what i will do i will give here also 150 and here also 150 okay that means it should come out of the surface then only you can see our trim okay on both sides i will give some values and just click on ok and cancel now we are getting like this. Then after this, I will go to split. I will select this surface, first surface what we created, and uh, the second surface what we created. You can observe here now the outer extended portion is removed on both sides. On both sides, it is removed. But it is not removed, just click on other side. Like this, we are getting this. You can see this portion we, we need to remove. So that's why click on other side. Now it is removed. Okay, after removing that, just click on this right click on this surface and just click on I. Okay. After this, go to tools, I all sketches. Now you can see now we are getting the curve shape on both here front side and back side. Okay. After this. We need to fill this surface, okay, fill this uh, hollow surface. Okay, then just go to fill command is the go to fill. Okay, we have to do zoom it. Okay, we start selecting uh, the end that is lying on this surface. Only the line you should select at the edge. You are not getting that one zoom it and you can select that one. then you can easily select that now you are getting this is closed contour that means you can fill this one just click on it okay now you can see this one is closed okay similarly here also on this side also you can fill this one again go to fill command Okay, select the like this outer edge you can select and leave the outer line okay. again here you can see this one is closed control okay then you can click on open now you can see on both sides it is now closed okay after this here you can see i think we created the sketch on this plane only again i'll create one more plane at a distance of 10 mm you can see the distance here 10 mm uh, from the original plane then i will create um, these two circles okay these two circles i will create and i will extrude here also the two circles of diameter 50 mm then again i will extrude okay just uh, go here i 
I will create a plane from the original YZ plane at a distance of 10. Okay. Then I will select this plane. Then I will draw two circles. Okay, you can see. Just I will draw a circle of diameter how much it is. That one is uh, 80 mm. Okay. You can refer this sketch. So this one is 80 mm. And uh, the distance of this center with respect to the vertical axis, that one is 1. One one. Then after this, you can mirror this one about uh, five. Okay. And after exit the workbench. Now again, I will go to extrude. Okay. Before that, you can refer how much you can extrude on this side and uh, to the right side and to the left side. And I will refer this. Okay, here and from this plane here it is the distance is 20 mm and this one within this surface it should move okay. one side it is 20 here any value okay, either 30 or 40 or 50 okay, then you can trim it here okay so I think here to this go to extrude okay here this is a limit one limit one is a mil 20 and the limit two, I will reduce this to fifteen. Okay, just I want to move this portion inside this side. Okay, just click on CD. Okay. Come to ten. Okay, then now after this, just I will go to trim. Trim panel. I will select. This surface, filled surface, and I will select this one. Now you can see the inner portion. Now it is trimmed. Okay, that one we need, right? And click on, or if you are not getting, just click on other side like this. This one we require. That's all. No need to select that one. Only this one is enough. But inside this circles, okay. just click on here. Like that inside portion is not trimmed. Then again, we need to fill this. We just go to fill, select this surface, okay? then click on it. Then again, go to fill, select this one, and click on. After this, we need to join this fill surface and this one. When you are using the trim command, this fill surface and this becomes one in one element. But this one is not connected, that's why I go to join. Okay, select this one and this fills up. Okay, just click on OK. Now it is like single element. Okay, then later I will select this plane to go to sketch. Okay, just draw two circles. Uh, one circle and that we can mirror it later of dimension of 52. You can refer the sketch uh, 50. Okay. Dimension diameter is 50 and the distance of this center with respect to this axis is it is again 115. Ah. Okay, then you can mirror it select this circle, okay. select this circle. Click on mirror, then okay. Okay. then exit the one. Okay. Then you can see oh, okay. And on this side, it is only 2 mm, and this side it should pass through the field surface. Then you can mirror, uh, trim it later. Now go to here again. Go to extrude. Now this is the limit two. The limit two. I just I want only two mm. And for limit one, 
I need it should pass through this one. Okay, you can check here. Okay, now it is passing through. Okay, I will give it as it. Okay, now it is passing through this one. That one is okay. And this one is okay and can. Okay, then now we need to trim this inner portion. Okay, that's why again I will go to trim. Okay, select this free portion and select this extruded. Now you can see that inner portion is that is trimmed. Okay, just click on as you can see this one different shading with material like this. Okay, so now the inner portion is ready. Then again you can fill this, go to fill, select this and click on work. It is now created on both sides, it is filled. Okay. This is the remaining portion, okay. Remaining whatever it is there, almost it is completed. Only we need to create three circles here and extrude and trim that. And one circle is extruding and trimming. 